like <laughs> I like to see him sitting in front of that. I look like like a broadcaster or something. Got your, and then you got your book. That's what. <laughs> I'm broadcasting this motherfucking wig for the people. Can I get a little bit of a sub? I don't mess up stuff up, just kiss me. It is. Alright. I can kiss. I kiss you. I love you. I love you. I love you too. Oh. y'all it's Canada welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna be giving you guys a two month update on this unit I'm currently rocking so if you're in the market for a curly wig keep on watching okay y'all so I'm gonna try not to do too much talking in this video and get straight down to the nitty-gritty so I purchased this wig from Aliexpress the vendor was HJ weave beauty um, it is 28 inches Brazilian deep curly. I got it in 150% density. They also uh, offer it in 180% density. But I was being a little cheap so I got the 150 and that was fine with me. It worked, worked out or whatever. But um, yeah. So, I purchased this wig at the end of July. Y'all, this is my first wig that I ever bought, y'all. Like, I know y'all see me review some wigs on my channel, but those wigs were sent to me. This wig, I actually purchased, and it was my first time buying one. I usually make my own wigs, like I bought a bundles and a frontal, but I was going out of town, and I'm always last minute, and I knew I wasn't going to have time to make no wigs, so... I went ahead and bought me one already made and you know I was happy with it or whatever it did what it needed to do but um yeah so let's get into the pros of the wig I'm looking down because I wrote the stuff down so I could just speed it out um so the first pro was that it was really affordable I got this wig for about 240 um, and that's really good for 28 inches and a frontal or whatever. So, yeah, it was affordable. It came quickly. It came in like three or four days. Um, the vendor, she kept in contact with me and stuff. And they responded to my questions and all of that. I showed them. I'm like, yeah, please send it to me quick because I'm going out of town and I need it ASAP. And I'm always last minute. But anyways, um... Another pro was it was just really pretty and bouncy and flowy in the beginning. I can't say it's the same way now, but it was great in the beginning. It did what I needed it to do for my trip, so I was pleased with that. Um, and I liked it, the lace on it. The lace melted with my skin beautifully before I colored the hair because I didn't color it for my trip. I colored it after I came home. But once I did the, because I uh, dip dyed it in the water and I kind of tinted my lace red. So it looks a little different now. But in the beginning, I loved the lace. It melted really flawlessly. Um, in the description of the wig, it says transparent lace, but when I hit up the vendor and told her that I needed the wig like ASAP, she told me that she didn't have no transparent lace right now and that it was going to take a little longer to come, but she could send me brown lace. And I'm like, girl, send that brown lace because I got some pretty brown skin, okay? And that lace worked for me, so I was happy with the lace. I was happy with the wig. It was really pretty. Came quick, all of that. Um, now on to the cons. I will say this hair gets like stiff overnight, honey. It gets stiff overnight. Like if you're sleeping in it, I like to take my wigs off at night, but I've been keeping them on because I be trying to look cute for my man in the bed or whatever. But my wig been suffering for it, okay? Because it just, it get like dried out. I can't say it was like that in the beginning before I colored it. It wasn't that bad. I did have to like detangle it. Um, I did have to detangle it every morning. So, you know, like just spray it with some water and brush it. And it was cool. Nice back bouncy floy and stuff. But after I colored it. The hair like lost a lot of life. Like it still kept the curls. But it just seemed dry. 
and more easily to become stiff especially if I sleep in it so yeah that was a big con for me um also after I colored it I experienced way more like shedding while I was um uh, while I detangled or whatever in the beginning I didn't get much shedding detangling or whatever but now I do especially this last time that I just you know revived her so yeah it's definitely time to retire Miss Lady and that's only because she's getting thin I feel like from the um from me having to brush her out every day and now I've been having to add conditioner to it and stuff honestly all of this came from bleaching it but I didn't even lighten it that much like and I did the bleach bath or whatever I'll post some clips of that or whatever but I did a bleach bath and um I didn't even lighten it that much and then I dip dyed it and with a rinse or whatever and yeah I mean it came out super pretty it do what it got what it got to do for the day like I can make it through the day with this hair like the only reason I'm ready to get rid of it is because it's starting to get thin I could definitely still get a couple more rares out of her but it's about that time for Miss Lady. Let me bab it. I pregnant, y'all. I pregnant. Mommy video is coming back soon. Let me just stand up real quick to show y'all the ends of the hair. And I don't think it's as long. Hold on. We have my granny panties. I don't think it's as long as it was before. I think I lost a little length. But I will say that. Oh no, y'all, my nail don't pop off. Ugh. Hold on, I gotta fix her. This nigga wanna be on the phone like, oh my bad y'all. But anyways, the shedding is coming from the weft of the hair and not my front two part, which I'm happy with that. I would rather it be coming from this area rather than my front two getting bald because, you know, it's curly hair, so... It get big anyway. You can't really super tell that it's getting thin. But I can tell that it's thinner than before or whatever. But at least I ain't rocking no ball spots. You know what I'm saying? Because once you get the ball spots, now you got to start trying to part it certain ways. And cover it up and all of that. But yeah. So um, that's it for my cons. In closing, I'm going to just say that it was worth the price, definitely, um, because I feel like that's really affordable for some 28-inch hair. Oh, and the hair was layered, too, y'all. I meant to say that. It wasn't, like, straight 28-inch all the way down. It was, like, layered, as if they used, like, I don't know, a 22, 24, and, like, some 28s. I don't know. But that was okay. That was cool. You know, it still flowed nicely. I like that. But um, I would recommend this wig. I will recommend this wig. Just not for super long wear. Um, but honestly, I feel like the longevity of the wig depends on how well you care for it. I was pretty careless. But if you could take better care of it, it should probably last longer for you. Um, a month, two months. It hasn't been a whole two months, but it's been over a month. So that's why I'm just saying two months. But that is a great time frame for me because, you know, I really only need my hair for like a month and I'm on to the next. But, um, yeah. I would recommend getting 180% density though. Um, especially if you want to have it for a longer amount of time. Just because it is going to shed regardless because it's curly hair. It's going to it's gonna shed while you're uh, detangling it or whatever. And especially if you plan on coloring it, I would definitely get 180 density because she really going to shed after that. Like, it's not shedy to the point that, like, you're walking around picking up hairs. It just sheds when you um, brush it or whatever. So, yeah, I wouldn't recommend coloring it but you can it'll it'll lighten and it will take the color but i don't like the way the texture changed after bleaching the hair and i didn't even lighten it that much so i wouldn't recommend coloring it overall i'm satisfied i would give this wig a 7 out of 10 it probably could have got an 8 if i never colored it but 
overall I'm satisfied she did what I needed her to do and yeah so that's all for today's video y'all I told y'all I was gonna keep it short and sweet um I hope this video was helpful um for my ladies on a budget this is perfect for you I believe um it worked out for me I'm very satisfied no regrets um and yeah so don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you're new here hit that subscribe button and see y'all in my next video Try to get you some chicken tenders, but they only had white meat and chicken and wings. So I got a 12 piece wing and two breasts, but they gave me four breasts. Okay, I'm going to come eat some. Where are you getting from? Harold's. You smell like Harold's. Yeah, and I got to like try to eat. Look at that mouth, salt, salt, pepper. I was in time to put the hot sauce on. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> just throw a little bit of hot sauce on that food. It's a fries, too. Yeah. Okay, I'm about to come eat. I'm gonna try to hurry up and do this real quick though. Okay. Alright.